It's the tribes who hold sway in the Pashtun tribal belt, even on the voters' choice. Tribal elders who have the last word in any choice their community makes. And that is why Ahmed Vali Karzai, the brother and campaign manager of President Hamid Karzai in the South, has been courting tribal elders. Without winning them over, no contender stands a chance. Pashtun votes is extremely important because Pashtun are the majority in Afghanistan. Uh, I don't think without the Pashtun votes, no one can win. Kandahar is the main population center in southern Afghanistan, the Pashtun heartland. It is not only the electoral base and hometown of President Karzai, but also the support base of the Taliban. There is one challenger whose name is not on this ballot paper, the Taliban, and they have vowed to disrupt the elections. If they do, there will be a low voter turnout, which means that it would be difficult for any candidate to secure the 50% of votes needed to avoid a runoff. Dr. Abdullah Abdullah is Karzai's main challenger, son of a Pashtun father, but still seen by many here as someone who is lacking what is at the heart of the Pashtun vote, the tribal allegiance. We will vote for the person who is from our land and works for our dignity. We will vote for Karzai. Dr. Abdullah, who has campaigned in Kandahar, is seen as close to the Tajik community because of links with the Northern Alliance, the group that helped topple the Taliban in 2001. I will vote for Hamid Karzai. We will not vote for Abdullah Abdullah. He speaks the language of the Tajiks. The tribal elders are also involved in different negotiations here, trying to convince the Taliban that disrupting elections would not be in the interests of the people, the Pashtuns in particular. Because for the Pashtuns, the question doesn't seem to be for whom to vote for, but whether or not they will cast their vote at all.